These are rubber trees. We have a rubber estate basically, so almost all the trees are rubber itself. We have around 1500 rubber trees. And uh, so that the rubber trees, they need shade near their root systems. So that's why we always have uh, plants or some basic kind of plants so that you cover the roots of the trees so that they have, it's not very hot over there. We keep a cool temperature and thus it will help their growth a lot. So that's why you can see over there, you can see all shady parts right over there, just under the trees. So, more over rubber trees, come on, we'll just go and see. So. These trees, they provide you with rubber milk. This rubber milk are used in rubber industries to create uh, structures like you can even use shoe polish or even the basic eraser that you use in your classroom. They are all made up from this rubber milk. We actually we tap around these structures over here. We clean them, we clean these structures and make fresh uh, milk produce each and every day. And thus these milk produces and it automatically falls into this uh, cup. And from here this cup we collect it into it and then we take it to the machines and roll it into rubber sheets. I'll show you the process of making the sheets in a while. So this is how the basic working of a rubber tree is. And you have to keep giving them regular fertilizers and uh, regular nutrients for the tree so that they can grow properly. Or else trees can go really bad. That is basically rubber. It's like your own child. You have to feed it very well. And uh, these are the oldest trees that we have in our estate. These are uh, approximately around 8 years old. So these were the trees that we started tapping in the beginning. Tapping is a process of taking rubber milk from the rubber trees.